hello what's up everybody i hope all of you are doing fine and welcome back to my channel if this is your first time kindly consider subscribing and if you're my returning subscriber thank you so much for always coming back and watching my videos today i want to teach you things that you should do in order to get that interview i know many people are looking for the job many people are trying to are trying to look for greener pastures but it's so difficult it's not easy to secure a job so guys if you want to secure a job make sure you follow these tips that i'm going to share with you and trust me you are going to get that job that you've been looking for your dream job if you want to get it make sure you watch this video to an end so guys tips that we are going to do in order to pass our interview tips number one it's your cv when you're looking for the job number one thing you need to have it's your cv your curriculum vitae how do you uh make your cv how did you present your cv is does it have a good format if your cv doesn't have a good format your cv you will not get a job because the first thing that will advertise your will advertise you it's your cv remember your interviewer maybe you've applied online the interviewer doesn't know you. They will just see your CV online. They will check it. They will go through your CV. And through your CV, the interviewer, they will know. this. They will, at least they will grab something about you. So make sure you have a good format in your CV. And um, for a good format, what do we need in our CV in order to have a good format? The first thing that we need to have in our CV is personal details. That is number one. Personal details. What are these? This is number one. This is your name. What are your full name? Make sure you don't add, don't write your nickname. Write your full names, official names. Write your full names. What are they? What is your nationality? It's good to write your nationality because maybe you are in Gulf countries or in another country and they need people from so and so country. And maybe you're in the country that they don't need people. So maybe you just apply. You do not put gender. You will go for an interview and then they tell you, sorry, we need people from this country. So you see, when you put your you put a nationality in your cv it's very good this especially for people who are working abroad those ones who are working maybe those ones who, like i'm a kenyan if you're there in kenya it's not necessarily because they you are there you are kenyan they will know even with the names they will know but if you are abroad it's most important it's very important to put nationality and then another thing that you need to put it's your date of birth make sure you indicate when were you born maybe they will need to know they want to hire someone between this age and maybe you don't put they don't know whether you are too young or maybe you are too old for that position make sure you put what's your age when were you born so this one will help the interviewer to see this is the right person for this job another thing what is your gender maybe you are a female and they are looking for a male so make sure you put a, your agenda there in the CV. It's very important. They need to know. Maybe they, if they want a man, they will know this is a man. So make sure you put your agenda. What is your gender? Make sure you indicate there in the CV. Some people I see they put, instead of putting their gender, they are putting sex. It's, oh God, come on, come on. It's not presentable. Okay, some people they do, but it's not presentable. Don't put like sex female no it's not guys come on put gender your gender it's female or male so put gender use gender don't use sex another thing you can put it's um your telephone number your telephone number it's very important so when the interview they go through your cv and they see you're qualified they will use your phone your telephone number to call you and also another thing you need to put your email address if they cannot call you they will have to email you so make sure you don't miss out these important things you can add marital status if you want though it's not really compulsory so but yeah it's better to add at least they will know though it's not really compulsory but if you want to add your marital status if you are married or single yeah you can just add another thing that you should uh, have in your cv it's objectives what are your objectives for this job are you just up, uh, applying for jobs blindly no you should not apply apply for jobs blindly have objectives what why are you applying for this job what are your objectives it's very very important for you to put this make sure you highlight this don't forget always put your objectives in your cv another thing it's your skills 
don't forget to put skills skills if you put your skills this one now it's the main what are you good at put do you have good communication skills good interpersonal inter interpersonal relationship put all those skills that you have make sure you highlight them in your cv this one it will give the it will boost your cv the interviewer they will see okay this person is qualified even the way they presented their cv it's very good another thing it's your achievements and awards if you've ever received any achievements maybe employee of the month or your best stuff in this and this and you have the, you received certificate in that put this one it will boost it will boost it's a plus it will help you it will help you to be selected and then another thing that you need to put it's your um, it's your duties and responsibilities and duties and responsibility for so it will come when you are putting uh, your work experience put have you ever worked maybe you're applying for front desk position have you ever worked as a receptionist before then put what were your roles and responsibilities put all those roles and responsibilities of the work that you are applying for make sure you highlight all of them with this one this is the main it carries 80 percent of your cv 80 percent for you to be employed it's your duty, duties and responsibilities are you applying for this job and you don't know what are the duties of responsibilities they will not take you but if you know what are the duties and responsibilities trust me they will take you another thing that uh, you need to concentrate and put in your cv it's education did you go to school are you literate or are you illiterate definitely nobody will hire you if you are an, you are an illiterate every company they need someone who is literate put your your education what what is your level of, of education master's degree uh diploma phd put all those um level of your education there it's very important so for reference if you want you can put reference in your cv or if you don't want that one is not compulsory you can say reference it will be available upon request it's okay that one is not compulsory so we are done with number one to for the tips to make you pass your cv the, uh, pass your interview and that was your cv have correct format of your cv once you have correct format of your cv we will go to point number two and this one is grooming when they call you for an interview make sure you receive in a polite manner and then they will invite you for an interview how will you present yourself when you're going for an interview dress very well something don't wear mini skirt and you're going for an interview don't wear jeans and you're going for an interview wear formal you know wear formal if you have to wear high heels for ladies don't wear a six inch and something that will make you not even com uh, to be uncomfortable when you're walking wear something that that you will be comfortable where if you were wearing a skirt let it be down under your knees not above your knees so don't wear a mini skirt then you will be pulling it down when you're going for an interview it doesn't bring a good impression of you wear something that is very decent if you have to use perfume use mild perfume don't use something that is very strong because some interviewers they are allergic and if you use a perfume that is uh, they're allergic to they will just do the interview very fast because they just want you to go and maybe you are very smart you had a lot to share but because you are in your perfume it's it's too much and maybe it's making them to sneeze they will not even uh, ask you many they will not have, get to to know what do you have to share how you get to present yourself because of your perfume ladies if you have to put makeup put it little don't overdo it you can overdo it later or on your time when you're going out but don't overdo it we are not going to seduce someone we're just going to look for the job so make sure you present yourself very well your hair don't color like black red green purple yeah like you just color your hair anyhow where are you car where are you carrying your rainbow hair head to don't have a rainbow in your hair just have black it's good one color and it's neat make sure you are neat brush your teeth don't go for an interview and you know you do not brush your teeth when you just open your mouth it will be the bad smell that will come no 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 no. brush your teeth be neat grooming standards is very important because this one they will see 
because uh, when you present yourself very well the company they will see okay this person will present us very well they will when they're doing this job so make sure you present yourself very well another thing that you need to concentrate is to do research about that company maybe they advise they call you to go to a Nokia Nokia company for an interview or Samsung company so when you're going for this uh, interview or a Safaricom company so when you're going for uh, an interview do a research about this company when did this company start do is it a branded company or not if it's a branded company yeah uh, what is the name of their brand you know get to know something not compulsory everything but know something at least three points about the company do research about that company and then another thing that you need to know you need to have courage be courageous when you're going for an interview when they ask you question don't just go like you are so dull okay my name is so and so like you are so scared the interviewer will be will get bored with you they will not even uh, you know they will be bored be courageous answer question very well maintain eye contact eye contact is very good make sure you maintain um, eye contact smile have that uh, amazing smile that wonderful smile F smile very well. but don't just smile anyhow like you know some people because i've said smile they'll just be <laughs> no hello just give that wonderful smile smile like professionally you understand give a nice smile when you're going for an interview and trust me they will give you this job another thing that you need to have it's courtesy hey Hack, what is courtesy? Courtesy is respect. Do you have this courtesy? Do you have respect? Make sure you know how to use a uh, thank you. Okay, thank you, Miss So and So. Thank you, Mr. So and So. It's very good if you can, <coughs> if you will grab the name of your interviewer. If your interviewer name is, um, let's say, Francis. You can say, okay, thank you, Mr. Francis, for this and this. You know, use their name. Thank you, Miss Maslin, for this and this and this. <laughs> you understand? So make sure you use, using their name, it will be very good. It will, it will be like, they will say, ah, this person can remember us. This person can, it will, they will know you are smart. Because before they start an interview, they will introduce themselves. Make sure you grab their name and use it. If it's a man, use Mr. If it's a woman, use Miss. You understand miss it's good because you don't know maybe the person is married or not so yeah it's okay just use me so and so that one is good it is very nice another thing that you need to do okay when you're going for an interview and they offer you meal most of the time especially in dubai people in uae they always offer a meal don't order something that is very expensive or you go there okay i need pizza i need burger i need uh, chicken i need fried eggs you order a lot of things no order things that are less expensive and also order the meal that will be if you eat it will be it will not give you stress don't order something like burger and you're going to eat you have to you know to struggle no for me what i will advise you if they have to offer you something just ask for a glass of water or you can ask for a glass of juice or you can ask for coffee just that that's enough ask for that that one will not give you stress but for food for me i don't really advise someone to order food or you go and you're asking for something like spaghetti you will be messing yourself up maybe you understand don't embarrass yourself just water coffee or glass of juice that one it's okay and then another thing it's um ask questions after the interview is finished and they will definitely they will ask you do you have any questions make sure you ask questions it's very good to ask questions during an interview so don't forget to ask questions if you have any question about the job don't ask questions about salary don't go because they will see if you ask question about salary they will see like um, you're just going to that company because of salary don't ask anything about salary ask question about job anything you need to know about that job maybe about property something like that but don't ask something about salary no about salary if they will want to mention themselves fine but if they will not mention definitely later they will share their offer later you will see the salary but you don't ask about salary that one if you ask about salary it gives about a bad impression about you so make sure you don't ask about salary when you're going for an interview 
and uh, this one really it will assist you very well make sure you present yourself very well guys and uh, i think that is enough points that i had uh, for today and uh, when the interview is coming to an end always thank your interviewer thank your interviewer for having you for sparing their time and uh, having this interview with you always thank them thank them very well at least they will be happy they will know this is a nice person you understand so make sure if you use these points guys in an interview trust me you are going to get that dream job that you've been looking for make sure you don't skip any of this point in case guys have missed any point maybe i know some people they have other points that they would like to share you can share it in the comment section share it let's grow together let other people they will learn they will check it they will learn i will also read your comments and i will learn we are here to learn from each other i don't know everything maybe you know something that i don't know if you know something share it in the comment section and uh, guys, if you need to learn more about this, especially people who are looking for job, mostly those who are in abroad, you you are in the right channel. Kindly subscribe to my channel. Make sure you give, you put that notification bell on every time. I will be sharing like tips to get a job, interview questions. You understand things like that. And this one will really help. It will really help so much. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe. And for my returning subscriber, thank you so much for always coming back and watching my videos. And God bless you all. See you next time in uh, another video. If you guys want, you can follow me on my Instagram page at Marcy Twini. If you have any questions there, you can ask any question or you can ask any question in the comment section. And I will make sure I reply to each and every question. Thank you so much for watching this video and have a wonderful day.